into keyboard modding, the pager has you covered. We built a framework so you can be super creative. There's obviously a couple of places on device where you'll want to type things in. Uh, SSIDs, passwords, IP addresses, things like that. Of course, if I know anything about hackers, we're particular about our keyboards, which is why we've got a super elegant system in place and I want to show you how it works. So we're going to build a super simple keyboard and here's the thing, I don't even start in the code. I'm actually in Photoshop and you know what, no shade if you're using MS Paint, but I just start with a full screen canvas. And I've got a region at the top for my text area, but everything else can be whatever I want it to be. So giving this a little thought, I know I'm going to want like a dedicated number row. So that's obviously 10 keys across the top. And then I'm going to need room for my 26 alphabet keys. All right, well, then there's also going to be obviously a space bar at the bottom, backspace, caps lock, a symbols toggle, and an accept button. So if I do a 10 wide by five tall grid, and then I use a four wide key space bar, that's gonna leave six extra keys for common punctuation. Great, but it also sets me up perfectly in the symbols mode for the 32 ASCII symbols. So with this PNG, all I need now is another PNG with transparency for my selection. Now, if I dig into the actual JSON, you'll see that all I have to do is give all of the keys an XY coordinates, a ID, and then their selection icon. And I've got a different layer for each of the layouts, your lowercase, your uppercase, and your symbols. Now I'll make this Photoshop file available, but it just shows how easy it is to customize a keyboard using this template. But here's the thing, if you want, this can get really bespoke. Rather than hard code all of the keys in the layout in Photoshop, you can actually do it all dynamically in JSON. So here I have each letter dynamically generated and colored and positioned in any way I want just in code. That means I can get really crafty. For instance, this is an IP address keyboard and it's just 40 lines of JSON. Or I've got a hex editor keyboard that's perfect for MAC addresses in much the same way. You want your keyboard to be Dvorak? I'm not going to judge. Go ahead. But here's the thing. Obviously, you can get really creative with this as I did with my beloved IBM Model M keyboard. And if you want to get all steampunk, why not do a typewriter keyboard? Whatever. It just begs the question, what kind of keyboard do you want? Also, I want to give you a quick reminder that we have that ringtone contest going. It ends on September 26th. Get your entries in at hack5.org contest. Trust your technolist.